some members I actually met with a couple of chapters early last week that self-imposed a quarantine when they started seeing an increase in students that were symptomatic. Eight Greek chapters at the University of Idaho are in quarantine after testing for COVID-19. In a memo from University President Scott Green, the outbreak appears to be isolated to fraternities and sororities, but the school is now increasing COVID testing outside the Greek system. Is there any reason to believe the outbreak in the Greek community is a result of large gatherings or folks just not following those, those health protocols? Well, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously, when you're working with young adults that want to come to campus and engage and socialize with one another, I'm sure that's where some of the spread has occurred. Um, we've been very clear with our students up front in regards to expectations, reminding them of the importance of the Healthy Vandal Pledge. It doesn't sound like there's really a hard and fast reason for why we're finding these hot spots in the Greek community. Well, we're, well, I mean, you could readily draw the, the point that we have a bunch of students living in a, a communal living experience in a chapter house. And so that, that's one reason why I'm sure there's somewhat of a spread. The U of I infection rate jumped last week to nearly 12% with tests targeting known hot spots on Greek Row. But health officials say that's not indicative of the overall infection rate on campus, which is likely much lower. The focus surveillance testing that we've done has shown an increase. Um, it, it's just helping inform next steps for us as an institution. And so far, they have not identified any classroom transmission of the virus. Faculty who are concerned can teach online this week. They may be required to move back to in-person instruction on Monday. But the Dean of Students says they'll work with any faculty member who still does not feel comfortable returning to the classroom. And I think first and foremost is understanding what their concerns are. There may be some additional mitigation strategies we need to put in place. Amanda Rowley, CREM2 News.